Hello everyone, my name is Daniil Genkov. This is a showcase of my new Wonderland Voxel Engine development iteration. What I have here is a per frame progressive CPU GPU Octree Traversal Ray Tracer. One of the fundamental problems while walking this such huge amount of data stands for that GPU computations are high speed, but its memory is too small comparing with the CPU available ones, such as RAM or even disks. To deal with this, CPU managed memory should be used to store the global scene state and only load the actual data to the GPU, what is needed for the current presentation. I have a huge ring buffer serialized as a 3D image or texture with world's octree nodes which are loaded by CPU then GPU based ray traversal found a path to them. So the frame driving loop is roughly speaking works as GPU casts a ray until the unexistent node is reached. CPU downloads the current state of a ray from GPU. CPU compute the scene in the requested position. CPU uploads octree nodes of the scene to GPU and then repeat. To increase the interactive performance, not all the rays are computed per frame. The viewport is split in a grid and only one ray is randomly selected from one cell. Now I am working on re-implementing all the world entities I had in the previous implementations, but now basing on this progressive ray tracer. And as an interesting fact, I completely rewrote all the code base in C++ again. Since Vulkan is firstly a C++ API, it's designed to work with it using this programming system. Despite all the features of Rust, it makes additional restrictions and obstacles, either you use a high-level API such as vGPU or direct Vulkan bindings such as Ash.